All right, hey guys, this is John Davis. I just wanted to uh, have a chance to talk about my new bike, my new motorcycle. It's not new, but it's new to me. It's my first motorcycle. So this is a uh, Vulcan 500 uh, 2008. It's seen some better days, but uh, it still works just fine for the most part. Um, has a couple problems that are actually legitimately scary. Scary enough that I don't, I'm not going to be getting on the freeway on this bike uh, ever. Um, one is, as you can see, the the fork is bent, and that's not good. That's really not good. So uh, it, it runs fine. The guy who owned it before me, the guy who sold it to me, he learned on it. He owned it for two years, and he commuted with it for two years with the the fork bent. Um, the, the the previous owner had uh, had gotten in a wreck in it and uh, bent it. He never did bother to uh, didn't afford to to fix that. So um, the only other things are that I guess the brakes pads are really really low. I'm getting those fixed. I uh, got the brake pads on order. They do work just fine. They just they're just grinding. Um, and that's it. I mean, oh, and then, uh, one thing that's really bugging me about the bike is just these, uh, these exhaust pipes, they've been tweaked a bit, and it, the thing is just really, 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 really loud. Like, crazy loud. It hurts my ears. It's loud. So my neighbors don't like me, of course, um. It's actually kind of a good thing to have a really loud motorcycle, not because of a, you know, hey, look at me, but because, uh, look at me, I, uh, I, uh, I need you to not fly into me, <laughs> drive, drive right into me. So for safety reasons, um, having some loudness is a good thing, but um, I think this one is excessive. I can show you. Uh, turn it on. Uh, do I have it in neutral? Yeah. Doors closed, so I don't want to leave that uh, running for too long. But um, that thing is loud, and uh, but I'm gonna go ride it. This is my helmet, it's nice and bright green, which makes me look like an idiot. Uh, but that's good because I want to be seen because I don't want people to fly into me. Uh, I'm a new rider, I have to be extra careful, I have to look like a beginner, which I am, you know. <laughs> um, uh, I'm told that white is actually a better uh, color for for a helmet to be seen, but um, the reason why I got the green is I thought I was getting a different bike, yeah, the one that has some green on it, and I thought it was going to complement the bike well, but I didn't get it, uh, at least not yet. I probably, w I eventually might, in fact, if I do, uh, I might even this weekend, but uh, we'll see, because uh, Kawasaki's got this special deal going on for $2,000 off, which is a pretty, pretty darn good deal. I could almost be, almost make a profit, but I won't. So, there is this, uh, the bike seat does have a missing bolt, but it's not coming off. So, that's that, guys. My new bike. Uh, like I said, I might upgrade to a Vulcan S, 2016 Vulcan S. Possibly as soon as this weekend, but probably not. And uh, meantime, this is my starter bike. This is one I'm learning well. And, oh, and by the way, this bent fork, I am getting that fixed. I just can't do it to net, to net, right, net, right away. Um, I have to have basically about $700, seven or $800 to uh, on hand to, to even start looking at that, So, which I don't have right now. The whole bike cost me $700, so the fork is going to cost me about the same amount as the bike. Alright, well, that, that includes labor. Talk to you guys later.